Hello everyone, this is the Magic Master, and today we are going to be doing a mod review. So hang on, I'm just going to move my mic so it's going to be loud. There you go, sorry about that. So today we are doing a Magic mod review, and we are going to be doing the Da Vinci's Vessels, which used to be called Archimedes Ships, but now it's called Da Vinci's Vessel Vessels. So I'm going to be showing you the really basics in this review, and then you can go out into the world and figure out the more complicated stuff by yourself. I see review. It's more like just me messing around. So, to make your ship, there are two essentially vital items. There is the ship helm, which is made like this and creates this guy, and there is the floater. And technically the floater isn't mandatory, but if you don't have the floater, your ship will just sink. So it's pretty useful. So I've put together a ship boat here, and it doesn't just have those items, but I'll show you where those items are. So our floaters, if you can see them, are right there at the bottom of the ship. And then our ship helm is right inside the ship. Ah, uh, if I can get in. You can see it already, but I can't get in the ship. Wait, I know why. Have we not decompiled it? Oops, hang on. Disassemble. Um, our ship helm is right here inside the ship. Also, we just have a secured bed. Oh, that's just a normal bed. We also have a secured bed. Sorry, my dog just looked like he was about to puke. We're all good though, he didn't puke. Okay, so we also have a secured bed and a passenger seat. And a passenger seat is made just with three wool here. So if I take my three wool, and adjust them like so. Oh, that's not a crafting end. Hang on. Do 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 do. And adjust them like so. You will get a passenger seat. And as for the secured bed, I'm actually not sure how you make the secure bed, but I would guess you just take iron ingots and put them beside the bed. But that could be wrong. But my guess would just literally be. Oh, that's not a zero. That's a zero. Um, my guess would literally just be that, but I doubt that's right. No, I don't know how to make secure beds. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> but there you go. You got the passenger seat, you got the bed, and you have the ship helm. So when we enter the ship helm, we get this lovely little menu here where we get to name our ship. So let's name it the TC Water Ship. Water Ship. And I know that seems weird, but it's because there's also airships that I'll show you in a minute. And we're just going to click done renaming and then assemble ship and mount ship. And once you mounted the ship, you're sitting at the helm and we can go on an adventure. So, oh, we're trapped in the current, which is not good. But if I try, oh, I bet it's, yep, that's a problem. Okay, hang on. And then you click K to bring back up your menu and disassemble the ship. Oh, I'm in survival. Well, that's not good. Back in creative, please. And we're just going to free the ship here. The problem is it's completely trapped under the water current that I accidentally created. Which is not good. Because you can see there isn't water down there. Um, which is not good. See? So I'm just going to put some water buckets in here so that the ship can actually move. Water buckets. And I'm also going to... Ah. Let's just put some water in here. Hopefully we can get the ship slippery enough to actually move. So if I just right click on here now. Assemble ship, mount ship. And try and drive away. Come on, pull three. Nope, we're trapped by current. Um, but normally, you would be able to then take your ship and drive away, which this was a very bad example of. I'm just going to hop out the ship right now and see what the problem is. Oh, it's just the water current's not right. We're too far, we're too deep in. Okay, I'm just going to quickly disassemble this, so it's just a block. And then we'll move on to the airship. So that's your very basic ship. Um, a quick note though, because as you saw, I got stuck in the water. When you're making it, you have to make it one block above the water. So the floaters would have to go here, kind of thing, if we were just going to make a quick ship. The motors would have to go, the floaters would have to go here. 
and then you put whatever else you want like that and then you would make a ship so yeah then i'm going to take the teleporter that i stole from pixelmon from the watcher and we're going to use it to go to where we built the airship so if i just click this button here we will go to the airship spawn so one new block you're going to need if you're making an airship instead of a water ship or just a ship i suppose and the one thing you're going to need is the air balloon and the air balloon is oh hang on where the the air balloon is just one piece of wool and one piece of string will give you one of these lovely air balloons and if you want different colour air balloons all you do is replace it with a different colour wool so instead of having white wool you'd have red wool for example so I've also built us an airship up here if I climb all the way up here to our sky dock you will see where we have the come on, yay the airship and all that we have on the airship here is just three passenger seats which you can't sit on while the ship's not moving but once the ship has been assembled and mounted, you will be able to sit on it. And then, same thing as before, we right click our helm, um, assemble the ship, and mount the ship. And this time, there's no water current to trap us in, so we should be able to just go on an adventure. Hey, and we go! And the keys default are X to go up, and Z to go down, and C to break. So we can just go in third person even, and just float away from our dock there and then we'll just turn back around and go and see it again but yeah so that's pretty much how you make the ships now there's a lot more complicated stuff you can add an engine if you want to make your ship go faster those crates so you can transport mobs and there's lots of stuff that you can use oops daisy i just jumped right off the ship that's not good after the ship gotta get, gotta get to the ship no and gotcha Okay, let me just fly this back to the dock here. And then you can make your ship out of anything you want, but if you want it to be an airship, at least 40% of it has to be these balloons here. Um, I've just used green and black because they're Team Challenges colours. And we're actually going to make our own ship, so I'm going to show you how you would make it from scratch. It's not that difficult, really. But we're going to do it anyway. Okay, we'll see. Break, break, break. Okay, lift just a little bit. Back up a bit. There we go, okay, no, forward, down, there we go, then you go click clay, K, and disassemble your ship, there we go, and, oh, I'm still flying, now we are off of our ship, we can just hop back onto the dock, oops, a daisy, too far away, and last but not least, we're going to make our own ship, so, I'm going to clear my inventory here, and in this chest, I've got a bunch of different materials that we're going to need, to make our own ship. So we've got all the different colours of the balloons, got plenty of wood, glass and some fences. So let's head back up the dock and I didn't want to make a water ship because I figured that would just be a waste of time making two ships and I know I promised you Sky Island but I can never find helpers for Sky Island so if I can continue, if I continue not to be able to find helpers I will honestly probably just do a completely separate I would probably just do a Skyline video without any helpers, that's what I'm trying to say, but I'm failing. So we're going to start building the ship about here, oops, it is easy. about there, I guess. So this is going to be the edge of the ship. So let's make it out of dark, should we just make like this design? Well, let's do dark oak and oak, so it's literally the opposites of each other. So we'll have dark oak, and we can do stretches. So it's going to be five along like this, and then we can do oak and dark oak and it's just a design the design really doesn't matter it can be whatever the heck you want it to be actually i think i'm gonna encapsulate it in. oh encapsulate it oh big boy words um i think i'm gonna surround it by do you want to do one further or is that good um i think that's fine then we're gonna cover it in some oak wood around it just for a added feel of amazement which it probably won't bring but i'll pretend it does so we'll just have to go like this, and which does mean we're going to be very close to the dock. So I'm going to have to be very careful when flying away that I don't run directly into the dock. So we'll set this up like this. Oh, and now I'm going too far. Set this up like this. Um, adjust that so it's the right way around. Adjust that so it's the right way around. And this one's still the wrong way around. Then are we done? Yeah, we're done. So now we're not done, done, but we're done with the um, 
our hobby. So now we adjust. So the next thing we need to do is add some fences. And you don't have to add fences either, but I just think it's a nice connector. And we're going to use, let's use birch, just so we're using all of the different types of wood. It's going to be a really terrible looking ship here. We're going to go three up, do you reckon? We'll do four up. So we're going to go four up with the fences. And I'm essentially just building that, just a slightly different design that I built over there. So then we'll connect this up like that. And nip back across the way. This way, this is a very um, long ship. I didn't expect it to be this long. I maybe built it a bit too big. Oh well, oh, and I broke the bottom one there. And we'll just do that all the way around. And then should we do it in the middle for like an added effect, like all the balloons are being held up by fences? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So this is literally, this is a very creative part, because at this point your ship does nothing. You really, all that's important is that you have um, air balloons and the helm. The rest of the ship is completely up to you what you do. So this is me just playing around with it. Then we're going to fill in the entire inside of this place with the fences, just to give it a more authentic design of the balloons are being held up by this sort of structure here that exists like that. There we go. And then we use balloons. So there's all sorts of different color balloons. We can use cyan and white. I'm going to add some clouds in white afterwards. That could be cool. I'm going to do a sky on top. So let's do four layers of balloons as well, do you reckon? Four or three. Let's do four because then we know for the fact it'll fly. So we have to do four layers of balloons. Like this. So you can do three. You could even do one if your ship was really small. Right, it just kind of depends on the size of your ship and then the amount of stuff you want to put on your ship because everything you put on it weighs down the ship a little bit more, right? So I'm going to fill up this thing with the air balloons. And then I'll add some little dots of white around the place just to add a sort of cloud feel. So that it's like the sky. So if I just continue filling this in, this might take a minute here. And the reason I'm doing the inside is again so that it weighs down. So if you just wanted to do it to look good, you didn't have to do the inside, but if you want it to actually fly, then you're probably going to want to do the inside because the more balloons, the better. So let's continue installing these balloons here. And then we'll have a nice sky, dot it with all white, and we will have a lovely airship. And then all that will be left to add is the ship helm. And if we want a couple of passenger seats. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's finish this up here. And then the next map is the Prismarine Lab, if you didn't see the 10 and 1 challenge. The next map me and Butter are going to be doing. So I don't know when that's going to be coming. It just sort of depends on how everything goes. We want to get Sky Island out and we also want to get Butter available, right? If we're doing the map, we need Butter available. So just depending on how all of the schedules turn out, that might show up in a couple of months or a couple of weeks or depends on how we end up going. So now I'm going to take all white and I'm just going to dot a few. It looks more like Sully actually. Should I just, hang on, wait, do we have purple? Uh, purple. Right, I've changed my mind. This is going to be Sully. If you don't know who Sully is, um, go and watch Monsters, Inc. It's a great movie. You won't regret it. Well, you might. It's a Pixar movie, so I don't know why you haven't seen it. Why Why haven't you seen Pixar movies? <laughs> but we're going to make a Sully monster. Just a little bit of... Oh, no, that's way too close. That's too much purple in a row. There's another purple over here. Purple down there. I don't think we've done any purples on the top row, so purple up there. Purple there. And then we'll just have a lovely ship. We'll call it Sully the Ship. Sully the Ship? Maybe just Sully. Because we get to name our ship as well, right? And I think this is just called TC Airship, but I'll double check in a second there. How's that? Uh, I don't like that very much. We're going to replace that with Scion, and then... Well, even if we do this, let's... Just for a little bit of variety in the spots. Okay. So then let me just double check what I named this one. This guy doesn't have a name. We're going to rename him TC Airship. There we go, now he's an NTC airship. And that was stick, yeah. Spy hop. Oh, I fell. 
Oh well. Um, and then we can hop onto this guy. And here's our ship, which is currently just a big empty space, but we've got lovely Sully's design on the front. And then, should the front be this way or this way? Let's make the front this way. So we'll put the, uh, the helm right here. And then let's pull up some glass. And let's mainly cover the walls in glass. We've got to leave a doorway though. So if we leave the door there, and then cover the rest of the walls in glass like this. Oops. That should look quite nice. And we'll only put the door on the one side because you don't need more than one door. Um, let's put that there. On the other ship, I did do two doors. I did a door either side. But, you know, we're not going to do that here. And then I'm also going to leave a gap where the helm is so that it is easy to... Um, get to the helm if you get glitched off the ship, so I'm not going to put glass where the helm is, so it's possible to jump on there as well. And then I guess we can install some passenger seats, and then we will turn this into a ship, because it's got the helm, it's got everything it needs to be a ship, but we haven't put the, um, we haven't assembled it yet, so it's still just a floating block. Well, floating building, I suppose. Um, so if we do that, then you have all the windows that you need. And you can hop out there. Oh, okay. I'm going to do this because I don't have any parkour skill whatsoever. There we go. Hop inside. There we go. And then some passenger seats, which I forgot to give myself. So I'll just give myself some right now. Oops, I just chucked it on the floor. Let me just go and grab that. And we'll just put one here on one here. And then we can even do it like a... There you go, you've got four seats for any people who might need it. And now I think it's time that we make this an official ship. So right click it. We're going to rename it um, Sully after the Monsters Inc. character. Um, Sully or Sully? I think it's spelled like that. We're going to assemble the ship and mount the ship. And there we go. Sully's ship officially flies. And off we go. So thank you all very much for watching. And I'll show you his recipes one last time, just in case you've forgotten. Um, hop down. Oops, I fell right off my ship. I always forget to... Ah, I hopped right off. I always forget to um, disassemble it. Let me on, let me on, let me on. Okay, uh, okay. Disassemble. There we go. So, let's go and show you the recipes one last time. The recipes are... This is how you make an air balloon. You need one wool, one string. If we go back to where the original boat was. This is how you make a ship helm. You need one iron, four sticks, and four wood. And you get this lovely little ship helm. And then floaters are one log and one piece of wool. So, I don't know if you can use other coloured wool. We'll double check it just now. Yellow wool and a log. Is it not called a log? What's it called? It's just called oak wood. There you go. And then I'll just check if you can do that. Uh, crafting. Let's pop that down there. And just check. You cannot. So it needs to be white wool for that. But for our floaters over there. Um, for our... No, I mean string. For our not our floaters, what are they called? For our air balloons, you can use any colour wool. But just be warned that whatever colour wool you use becomes the colour of the air balloon. Yeah, so that's all for this video. Thanks so very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, Team Challenge.